Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day today here at Premier RV of Oregon. And today we found what I believe is the best value bath and a half on the market. And today we're hanging out with Damon here at Premier RV of Oregon. How you doing today, sir? We're doing great. How about you, Andrew? Excellent, thank you. And Wonderful. Even better now that we found this tremendous value, a bath and a half under 200 grand with the Cummins 600. Pre-DPF, 2008, it's Monaco Signature. And this is on the Roadmaster chassis. Yep. This coach is checking all of the right boxes. What is the story on this coach, sir? It is from California, and it's a bath and a half. ISX Cummins, 600 horse, pre-DPF, no def fluid. Really clean, nice coach. We just got it in on a consignment. Now the Monaco Signature, this was one of the top line Monaco products. What was so special about the Signature? This was as good as it got from Monaco. Top of the line, custom built, cabinets, everything's hardwood, the floors, all tile, just beautiful finishes in the, in the Monaco Signature. Well, let's take a closer look at this coach. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful color scheme with the taller Gerard awnings up top here. And this coach has all kinds of cool stuff like this lane detection system or uh, what the Vorad system. Vorad, yeah. what's, the, what's the deal with that Vorad system? It alerts you when you get too close on either side or in the front and you can lock the cruise on the vehicle in front of you and set the distance. Pretty cool feature. Now the Roadmaster chassis too, I just love showing everybody. When you go up underneath the wheel well here, you can see the airbags. Now this coach has, is it 10 airbags? 10 airbags, yes. Outboard mounted, handles like a sports car, air disc brakes. Really a nice, quiet, plush coach to drive. Yeah, and what's the difference? I know these, uh, you said outboard mounted. Where would the airbags be mounted in some of the other coaches? Typically they're in uh, another foot and a half and down a lot lower. I saw some Monaco marketing material where they talked about these airbags make it ride more like a pontoon boat than a canoe because of the outside placement of those airbags. Exactly, very stable. That was all with their custom built chassis and the design that they were going after. Yeah, it looks like it's got power window awnings here. Um, what all's going on in the basement of this coach? Well, let's open it up. 600 horsepower, bath and a half, under 200 grand. If you look, you've got the big manual slide tray and I'll be fully transparent. There's a little bit of maybe some staining on this carpet, but here's a look at that diesel fuel reservoir. Now there is a little compartment here so you can fill up on both sides. Damon, do you know how many gallons of diesel fuel this coach has? 200 gallons. 200 gallon 200 diesel gallons. fuel tank. This is a heavy duty coach. Now going back through these bays here, this third bay, it has a power slide tray. Press that button and that's a full pass through bay your holding tanks. And, and do you know what the towing capacity is on this coach? Yeah, it's 10,000 pounds. 10,000 towing capacity, 200 gallon diesel fuel tank. What about the holding tank for your fresh and gray and black water? 100 fresh, 60 gray and 40 black. Awesome. I am noticing just a couple like minor flaws on the paint, which is normal, but overall the paint's in good condition. There's just a couple little, let me give you guys a close up here. Damon, you were saying they had this stripe painted. They didn't like this gold color and it's- Yeah, previous owner painted it black. So a couple little minor issues on the paint? Yes. Yep, there's some flaking off going on there and up in the top on the awning and it's a little bit of fade. Yeah, very minor issues, but the bones of this coach are what it's all about and the Cummins ISX 600 horsepower. This has the Allison 4000 transmission, no DEF, no particulate filter. A lot of value here, huh? It is, this is an 06 engine in an 08 coach. We see a few of these a year where it was put in early in the model year and that's really the best of both worlds. Now, date codes on the tires, you know what the date codes are? 2017 Michelins. Okay, and I think Michelins are rated, they say seven, seven years, years, so yep. a little bit of life left in those. Love how they finish out these plumbing bays. What else is going on in this coach, sir? Well, it looks like it's got a monitor panel here to check your tank levels and a SantaCon macerator, power cord reel, power in and out, water pump switch, and your fuel filters are behind that door. Tank rinse kits. Yeah, looks like it's got a macerator toilet here if you want to hook a hose up to the end of that and pump it uphill. It could do that easily. Here's the other side of that full pass through bay with the power slide tray. And then I love looking at the, the thickness of these basement doors. What's different about these bay doors than other coaches in the industry? 
Well, these are side hinge, which is what they ended up going to in the future. And they're just not a purchase bay door. Monaco built these from scratch. They're insulated and fits their body design. So more of a custom built door. Yeah. What else is going on? Well, we got propane and fuel on this side again. So you can fill the tank on either side, 200 gallons. And your propane tank is right there, which it looks like they've already got a T set up for an outdoor barbecue grill. And it'll have a gas cooked up in the motor home. That's the only thing that uses propane. Looks like the previous owner has some uh, sun shades. Uh, those stay with the coach, I would assume? Yes, those stay with the, with the coach for sure. 12.5 generator with 1,645 hours. I like that it's been used a little bit. And so going inside of the coach here, nice little spot for dog leashes or dog bags or whatnot you've got a step cover for your passenger damon i'm excited but i don't understand why do you guys only have this coach priced at 189 i've seen the market i can see how nice of a coach this coach is it's checking all the right boxes why is it priced at 189 uh, primarily due to the paint. Some of the paint that you looked at earlier, it's got some little defects that are just starting. No, I mean, that's minor paint work, significant discount. Tire date codes are 2017. Tire, yeah, you got a couple years left on tires, but I mean, they put an updated LED right behind you there. There's a lot of positive about it too. Great floor plan. The bath, bath and a half. half. I mean, and beautiful tile floor here. I really like the inlay. The signature has so many little high-end details. The sofas seem to be in really good condition. Beautiful uh, woodwork. So Monaco signature. What all is going on in this coach? Oh, this is their top of the line. So yeah, it's all hardwood cherry. And look at the storage. I mean, even in the living room, all the overhead cabinets, they're deep, they're tall. Yeah. Dishwasher. I've got to get everybody a close-up of that woodwork, the craftsmanship here. And Lane County, Oregon is incredible. The sofas, opposing sofas seem to be in really good condition. Is there any sleeping um, in this coach up front here? Yes, this sofa over here has a height of bed sofa. Yeah. So two adults can sleep there easy. And then on this side here, this is just storage. So there's drawers underneath and it's under both the booths and then the J sofa as well. I like the L-shaped couch here, Damon. If you want to be my cameraman for a second, I'm, I'm gonna in. Try. Let's this trade. This is getting me excited. I gotta try this out for size here. So it's got this kind of curve right here. So if you want to take a look and watch that updated smart TV, super comfortable all in good condition almost like a saddle color leather here you know but, i'm pretty good at this i think you yeah, should I think narrate so. hey, and I mean, i'll hey, do the camera so we could do the galley here uh i mean I, this is i'm getting excited about this yeah. coach i should be asking you know, i'll tell you what though damon you've got too much i'm excited but you've got the knowledge you've been in the industry for a long time now the ceilings here just so many little details i got to give everybody a close-up on the leather but what all is going on on the ceiling here this is an, a diffuser for the air conditioner, so it keeps it quiet and evenly dis distributes the cold air. Seven foot ceiling height. Yeah. So for me, I really appreciate this because I need that additional height to feel <laughs> feel like, you know, with my my stature, <laughs> feel like I'm not claustrophobic. Yeah, but I, I'm 6'2", plenty of headroom here. And the slide rooms are pretty tall too. I think taller than some of the other slide rooms of coaches in this era. But the galley over here, just a really nice color combination. I really like the solid surface countertop with that mold to keep uh, spills from dripping onto the faces of these cabinets. With a nice tile backsplash also, full extension, ball bearing drawer glides. You can see it's all finished out with the silverware dividers and yeah the tile work on this backsplash is really high end. Now do you know how much this coach costed new? Oh, these were all in the 600 to 650 range. What else is going on here? Well, we got a dishwasher, Fisher Paykel, and multiplex lighting. So everything is all on these modules throughout the motorhome. They're backlit and labeled. Residential refrigerator. Looks like that has the uh, water and ice dispenser on the door. In the door. Frigidaire. Yeah. We did pass this booth here too. That same solid surface that we saw in the galley and all the leathers in really good condition. I like this kind of these nail heads here. What do they call that? Those little, uh... little buttons, decorative buttons. And then this recess is for the latch to open the drawer, Andrew. Okay, nice. Yeah, beautiful woodwork. Plenty of room around your toilet and those same beautiful tile floors. And they did not short on the details. I like how the lights illuminate off the floors. You've got that under cabinet lighting and the same high-end tile work on the backsplash like we saw in the galley. Got a nice little mirror there if you really want to get a close-up there. And then a vent uh, with a fan. A little bit of storage here with adjustable shelving. And even the wallpaper in this is really high-end. I like the pattern and the with the texture in it. And then it looks like central vac here. Central vac. 
And then a nice floor to ceiling pantry. Yeah, all super clean. Yeah, it's a really clean coach. Another little pantry over here too. Oh yeah, utilizing all the space. Everything is in really good condition in this coach. Now here at Premier RV of Oregon, what all do you guys do to coaches, you know, versus buying a coach from a private party or other dealers out there, what's the value in buying from Premier RV of Oregon? We're very selective in the inventory that we'll take in, so the coaches have to pass our inspection process. And usually we can tell them the parking lot if we see a big sidewall D-lam or the ceiling hanging down or rust, corrosion, there's a lot of things that we look for. And then it does go into our service center where they inspect the coaches as well. They take them for a road test and test the plumbing and propane and appliances. Let's keep looking through this coach. I can't tell, but is this a queen size bed or is this a king? This is a king. King size bed, bath and a half, bath and a half. 600 horsepower. I mean, it's just not missing any of the important stuff. Again, that same high-end woodwork on the headboard there storage up top sorry damon i want to ask you questions but i'm just getting excited going through this I can coach the camera and you know. oh no yeah. yeah but look how much room you have there in between the foot of your bed and those beautiful cabinets uh what else uh, going on you got a hamper kind of cool yeah. tilts back and then these are all storage drawers all the original manuals and books a lot of value in that yeah this tv's also been updated to a samsung led and your components go right here. And I like that you guys have this floor all covered in plastic. Yeah, but we, we have them shampooed and then when they dry in a day or two, then we cover them with plastic before we put them on the showroom. Okay, and then when we look at this carpet here, beautiful high-end carpet there and a lot of deep drawer space. But really, the rear bath is what this coach is all That's about. That's what it's all about. And Monica really did a fantastic job. A lot of storage in the back. The slide out from the bedroom goes all the way through the back of the motorhome, so the bathroom slides out as well. Huge. And toilet. You want to walk in there just to show everyone for size? I mean, that's like as big as a bathroom I'm in some six, homes. I'm 6'8", so you can see. I mean, I still, I got a lot of space here. This closet clean and yeah. massive. Yeah, little uh, shoe cubbies back there. Extra chairs for the dinette. There's the ladder to get on the motorhome. There's another part of that monaco signature owner's manual and then there is a safe hidden back there as well look over here stacked washer dryer it is not missing anything at all and then check out the size of the shower huge shower that is large solid walls yeah beautiful tile work too i can't believe this coach is under 200 grand this is so much coach it is for under 200 grand yeah. this is not going to last long how many miles are on this coach Ninety thousand barely broken in and then that same beautiful countertops with that little lip so if there's a little spill it's not dripping onto the face of your cabinets look at how deep this is andrew because it's in the slide room yeah and the carpet is all in excellent condition i like to look at the wallpaper in the back of the cabinets uh, in the, all in excellent condition and i think damon i think you could do a couple jumping jacks in there can you do a jumping jack yes Full jumping jacks in the rear bathroom. I mean, six, eight, up. <laughs> you know, that's... A lot of room back there. <laughs> Damon, I always love hanging out up here because you guys have some of the coolest coaches in the country and some of the best values too. So this is an 08 Monaco Signature Series with the bath and a half, yep. 90,000 miles, Cummins ISX 600. Yep. How much dough do you need for this coach? 189. And if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? They can get a hold of Louis or myself at 612-865-0320 or 541-953-6729. Awesome, Damon. I greatly appreciate you and the team at Premier RV of Oregon. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you. See you later.